Shalom. Before I get started with this lesson, I want to give all honor, praise, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, or Kakwadash. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone that taught me this truth and that rule well. And peace and salutation to the elect out there laboring on and that believe in the name of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, or Kakwadash, to USA Shalom. This is your brother Amon from the GMS Charlotte Camp. Coming back with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah by Hashem, Kodash. In this lesson, I want to touch on the fact that, you know, our people, all right, our two thirds of the nation of Israel, all right, they are through, you know, due to them, you know, being acclimated to the system, due to them placing their trust into everything outside of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah. And, to be, you know, brutally honest about the situation, all right, death is the only way to fix two-thirds of the nation of Israel because they're so far ingrained in Esau's system, all right, and Esau's way of thinking that the Most High has to ultimately get rid of them, all right, and have them be reborn again in the kingdom because, hey, they're, they're spiritually, you know, uh, they're spiritually, you know, through, man, all right? And I just want to uh, open up with a quick scripture, you know, speaking on that fact. All right. Give me one second. Okay. This is the book of First Timothy chapter 4, verse 1. It says, Now the Spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils, Speaking lies and hypocrisy, having their conscience seared with a hot iron. And ultimately, that's, you know, going into two thirds of the nation of Israel because all right, these people have, you know, the, the ways of wickedness, you know, uh, seared with a hot iron to their spirit, which ultimately means that, you know, th their ways are, you know, they're stuck in their ways, man, that the Most High has fully given them over and to those, you know, those wicked, you know, those wicked spirits, all right, those wicked thoughts, all right, and that, you know, there's no way for them to come into the truth ultimately because they were rejected, all right, the Most High did not call for them to get the truth, man, all right, let me get another scripture real quick, all right, this is the book of Romans 11 and 7, and it reads, what then? Israel have not obtained that which he seeketh for, but the election have obtained it, and the rest were blinded. According as it is written, Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah have given them the spirit of slumber, eyes that they should not see, and ears that they should not hear unto this day. All right, and that's that's the, the exact reason why you know two thirds of the nation of Israel have been, you know, uh blinded from this truth, because ultimately the most high put blinders on them, man, okay, and because they have put their trust into this world, man, all right, which is why the Lord told us, you know, to love not the world, do the things that are in the world, but you see, our people were raised up in the matrix, and so this is all they know, you know, and this is all they're willing to know, because the Most High does not want them to come into this truth, lest they, you know, repent and be saved, and we know that two-thirds are sanctioned to be destroyed, but at the end of the day, man, it said that you know, uh, you know, Israel's they. I'm reading again. It says Israel have not obtained that which he's seeking for, but the election have obtained it, and the rest were blinded, right? Because these people, you know, go through their lives finding like they're trying to find the truth, and ultimately, man, the Most High blinded them to to fully come into it. Because even, you know, when you have certain Jake come into the circumcision. All right, the Lord only allowed them to go, but so far, because ultimately he didn't want them to obtain the whole truth. All right, which is why when I brought out that the precept before, okay, it says that some will depart from the faith because hey, the, the, the things of this world ultimately is too compelling for them to want to actually, you know, get it. Okay, you have the parable of the sower. All right. Where it says that, you know, some will come into the faith, you know, and, uh, you know, they'll abide for a certain time. But the, the cares of the world will choke, you know, will choke the truth out of them. And that's ultimately why you have a lot of guys that will come into the truth of knowing they're Israelite. 
And then certain things that happen in their life and they ultimately go back into the world. And one of the reasons for them going back into the world because either the, the things of the world, you know, are too compelling for them to resist. And this depiction that you see on the, on the screen, all right, goes into today's black family structure. And this is all showing you of the average two-third, man, okay? The order of the of the family structure has all been jacked up thanks to Esau and Edom. All right. And as you can see, man, it says starting with the man, all right. Because the man, all right, who's supposed to be the protector, all right, their their protector is, you know, this false messiah who they who the world, you know, ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, man. Okay. And you have some now, you know, depart Christianity and they'll go into Islam or they'll go into Pan-Africanism or Egyptology or whatever, you know, a uh, false doctrine or religion that, you know, they find themselves gravitating towards to, which is not your true covering. OK, and then you have the woman who's supposed to be the provider and, you know, her her main source, you know, that she, you know, she uses to provide from is the government, okay, which is why you see you have the caseworker behind her, you know, who, you know, pretty much encourages the woman to, to leech off of the government, all right, and not seek help from the man, okay? And then you see, lastly, with the children, okay, the children, they get their, they, they get their, their learning, all right, from the, the teacher, which these schools force you to take your children to, and they're being indoctrinated with lies and deceit, man. Okay? So that this, this is the average Israelite household structure in Babylon the Great. And this is this is what keeps our people locked into this society, man. Okay? And this is this is the reason why two thirds, you know, uh are caught up in the in, in the matrix because they refuse to let go of what they've been taught in this world, man. All right. Which leads me to this real quick. Hold on. This is the book of first uh first John two and fifteen. It says, Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. Right. This is why the Lord told us to ultimately separate, you know, from the uh you know, from the things of the world, because this world was never meant for us to to, to take hold on in here, man. This is just a temporary punishment. That we were sent here to serve, man. Okay? It says, For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. And this is this this is why the Lord ultimately told us not to not to love the world, because if you love the world, the love of the Father is not in you because of the, the things of the world, you know, uh they go against the ways of the Heavenly Father. And like I mentioned earlier with the parable of the sower. The things of the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, the pride of life, these things will pull you away from the love of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh And this is why you have our people engulfed in this world today, because they refuse to let go of the love of this world, man. All right. As as being awoken to this truth, all right, you're supposed to hate your life here in Babylon because this this is not the correct way that we're supposed to be, you know, uh, you know, living, man. All right, this is this is hell. When you're truly awoke to the fact of, you know, uh, what is going on here in this world, being under the rule of the wicked, which the wicked is the so-called white man, Esau, Edom, okay? But we understand that this this man has made life a living hell for the righteous, man, all right? Which is why the Lord told us not to love the things of the world, man, because this world is wicked as all hell, man, all right? But yet two-thirds of our people, they love it, all right? So let's get into a few scriptures just to uh to go into that, man. Okay? This is the book of Job, chapter 14, verse 1. It says, Man that is born of a woman is a few days and full of trouble. And why does it say that? Because at the end of the day, man, all right, growing up in Babylon the Great, okay, you are you are made susceptible to fall into the traps. 
that Esau has put here in this in in this side in this system in this society, man. And you are not given no no uh, uh governance or wisdom and in, in and pretty much having to navigate through this world because hey, it, it's so many different traps out here to ensnare you in that if you don't have the truth to to give you the wisdom to to know how to walk in this captivity. Then hey, you're you're left out here to be you know grabbed up by Esau's system, man. All right, and this is why hey, the the especially dealing with the Israelite men, okay, we are dying at a high rate because of the world you know that we live in. All right, you have the woman, all right, the Israelite woman, you know who are aborting these 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 children before they're even able to have a chance to live in this society. And then once the, the, the child is, is raised up here, man, all right, this world is automatically attacking them out the womb. You're getting, you're getting, you know, shot up with these different, you know, uh, potions, you know, and then you're being, you're, you're, you're being taught to be raised to be a damn gremlin, man. All right. You having the men that are being raised up to be sodomites. You're having these women being raised up to be whores, man. So, Hey man, it, the, the 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 Israelites here are being attacked on all on all sides, man. Okay, and this is because hey, we're being raised up in a wicked society, man. Okay, this is uh, Saint John five and nineteen. It says, "Then answered Yahweh and said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, the Son can do nothing of himself, but what he seeth the Father do. For what things soever he doeth, these also the Son." Do of the sun likewise, right? And as a people, we we are very susceptible and impressionable, you know, uh, because we we learn off the of things that we see. So, hey, we're, we're, like I said, we're being programmed from a young age to and and uh, conduct ourselves in the ways of wickedness, man. So the things that you know we're seeing, our right, our people ultimately do, which is why it's so important for us. To have his word to govern us, man. And this is why Esau took away, you know, the, the knowledge of the scriptures and, and filled us with black culture, man. Okay? Because they know that if we had a righteous role model to, to walk after, we would act as such, man. Which is why they, they had to take the, the image of the Heavenly Father and the Son and, and iconoclize them, you know, make them so-called white men. And then they, you know, put themselves up to be as the Most High. And so our people, you know, which look at Esau Edom as being God, they they conduct themselves as the Esau Edom does, man. This is why you see in niggas trying to chase the American dream. This is why you see them act uh, acting like an Edomite as far as you know the, the the characteristics of the devil, man. All right, following after the, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the uh, of the eye. All right. Loving the pride of life. That's all Edomite characteristics, man. Because doing that doesn't teach you a uh, 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 temperance. It doesn't teach you on how to, you know, how self-control, man. Okay? This is why they took the, the law, statute, commandments away from us. This is why they hid the truth of the Bible from us. Because, like I said, if we had a righteous role model to follow after, which that, that true protector is who, you know, uh, Yahweh Shai is supposed to be, man. All right? This is why they hid the truth from us, man. Okay, and it, and it, and the, the the crazy part about it is, this is why they attack the Israelite man the hardest, man. Okay, this is proof of that. This is Mark chapter three verse twenty seven. It says, "No man can enter into a strong man's house and spoil his goods, except he first bind the strong man, and then he will spoil his house." Right, because they had to, they had to uh the attack the man. And get the man out of the picture so that they can, you know, go after the rest of the Israelite family. Because once you take the head out the way, the body's going to follow, man. And so this is why they had to corrupt the man. This is why they had, you know, during slavery, all right, they beat the man into, into, into sub, uh, submission. All right, they buck broke him. They, they, they made the man literally powerless in front of the woman. And so the woman, she, she ultimately lost respect for the man. All right? And in doing so... Women naturally seek power. So who did she run to? You know, she ran to Esau, man. All right. This is why you're seeing, you know, Eve, you know, a hey, look at Esau as as being the one that that tells them what to do and what they can't do, because ultimately they don't respect the so-called, you know, black, Latino and Native American man. 
All right, because hey, we 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 don't have the govern the governance that we truly need, which is the scriptures, man. Because the order of you know the Israelite household is what ultimately sets up you know uh, everything, man. You know, I want to touch on that real quick. This is the book of First Corinthians, chapter eleven, verse three. It says, "But I will have you know." That the head of every man is Hamashiach, and the head of the woman is the man, and the head of Hamashiach is Yahweh. Alright? So the order of everything has been broken because they took out the head of the man. Alright? So the head goes back into the mind. Alright. So the 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 mind of the man is supposed to be on Yahweh Shah, man. Alright? And the, the ways that Yahweh Shah conducted himself here when he was, you know, in the flesh 2,000 years ago, that is the way that the Israelite man is supposed to operate in. And then from that, all right, he teaches his woman, okay? And the woman teaches the children. So if the woman, you know, she had her true head, which is the man, then the, then the children will be set in order because the law, statute, commandments will be established amongst the Israelite household which will put our people back in the right state. But because hey, our people have, you know, these different coverings that are not of the Lord, this is why our people are destroyed like they are, man. Okay? And this is this is ultimately why the Lord is going to destroy two-thirds, man, because they refuse to get in order, man. They refuse to, to come back and seek the, the, the Lord and, and learn the true way of how you're supposed to walk and learn the true way of how to worship the power, you know, that created you, man. All right. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 30, verse one. It says, woe to the rebellious children, say of the Lord, that take counsel, but not of me and that cover what they covering, but not of my spirit, that they may add sin to sin. Because our people take covering from any and everything but the Lord, man. They put their trust in their money. They put their trust in, in you know, these these idols, these false gods and Esau. All right, and, and themselves and the woman, all right, and everything but the Lord. And that gives them an excuse to continue to to uh to pretty much go off, man. All right, because they don't want to seek the true spirit of Yahweh by Shimei Shah. Verse 2, it says that walk to go down into Egypt, and modern day Egypt is, is here, America, aka Babylon the Great, aka spiritual Egypt and spirit, spiritual Sodom and Gomorrah. It says they have not asked at my mouth to strengthen themselves and the strength of Pharaoh. And to trust in the shadow of Egypt, right? So all our people, they they rely on Esau, Edom, to be their true covering, man. Okay, and it says that they strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh because, hey, the things that Esau tells our people to do, our people run with it. All right, and the best example you could use is during this whole C nineteen campaign where you had everybody running down to get the Boost Mobile, man. Okay, it says. And trust in the shadow of Egypt. Therefore, shall the strength of Pharaoh be your confusion. Sorry. And therefore, the strength of Pharaoh be your shame. And the trust in the shadow of Egypt, your confusion. Right. So because you put your trust in everything but the Lord. All right, you put your trust in the strength of Pharaoh, Esau, Edom. When the Lord takes this place out. Okay, that's going to be your shame. And it says in the trust of the shadow of Egypt, your confusion. Because... All right, you're not gonna have nothing to, to to rely on once the Lord takes away that covering that you that you take, man. That you have, man. Okay. So you Jakes, you wanna you know rely on your uh on your false gods. All right. You you women wanna continue to to seek out you know Esau's uh his government. All right. Relying on the gut, you know the, the, the their welfare. You know these damn. You know, these different these different uh, things that Esau has to help, you know, get you what you need. You know, child support, alimony. All right. Like I said, the welfare. That's going to be your that's going to be your shame of confusion, man. And these children, hey, this is going to be through. OK, because you can see, man, through through the, the Israelite structure, man. All right. It's going to be a lot of children that's going to die out here because of, you know, them being led the wrong way. All right. Which is why I said at the beginning, the only way to truly fix the two-thirds of Israel is for the most high to destroy them, man. Okay? This is Ezekiel 33 and 11. Say unto them, as I live, 
say of the Lord, Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai, I have no pleasure in the death of the wicked, but that the wicked turn from his way and live. Turn ye, turn ye from your evil ways, for why would ye die, O house of Israel? Right. And that, when it says, you know, the Lord has no pleasure in the death of the wicked, this is spe specifically referring to the wicked of the nation of Israel. Okay. Because the Lord wants to be worshipped. And our people who refuse to turn back into Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah, all right, you're not, there's no way you can, you're, you're truly going to worship the Lord because with you being in a dead state spiritually, all right, you're not going to, you're not going to worship the Most High because the scriptures tell you that you can't worship the Most High from the grave, man. All right. And the reason why you're spiritually dead, let's go to that real quick. Proverbs 21 and 16, it says, The man that wandereth out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. Right. Because you don't want to come back into the ways of, of your power, of your true covering. All right. You are in the congregation of the dead because the Lord, all right, the Lord is not dealing with you. All right. You are you are walking, you know, amongst the valley of the, of the dry bones, man. All right. When, when you read that scripture, that's going into all the dead Israelites, man. All right. Okay, let me let me get that real quick. Not fat, not Ezekiel thirty seven. Hold on. Bear with me real quick. All right, this is the book of Baruch, chapter 3, verse 4. O Lord Almighty, thou power of Israel, hear now the prayers of the dead Israelites and of their children, which have sinned before thee and not hearken unto the voice of thee their power, for the which caused thee plagues clear unto us. Right. Hey, the dead Israelites are the Israelites that, you know, are walking in the congregation of the dead that have not, you know, uh, uh, found their way into the way of understanding, man, which is this knowledge, wisdom, understanding that the Bible, you know, is, is speaking of, man, okay? So the Lord, you know, he, he's going to kill two-thirds of the nation of Israel because they don't want to come back unto the Lord, man. They want to continue to stay in this wicked way of living, man. And no matter how hard you try to, you know, wake them up and, and get them to turn from their wicked ways, all right, they want to they want to continue to stay stiff-necked and hard-hearted, man, which is why the Lord told us, you know, in uh in the beginning of Ezekiel, all right, that he was gonna make our foreheads hard against their foreheads, man. Because Jake is is he he's cemented in his wickedness, man. All right. They refuse to turn to the, the truth because they think because of the indoctrination that they have received growing up in this in this world, that they have the truth, man. But deep down inside they, they know they don't. This is why, you know, our people they they go so hard for, for J C you know, they go so hard to these different idols and gods because they think that they got it. But ultimately, man, the Most High is not dealing with them, which is why he's going to destroy them, man. Okay. This is Proverbs 29 and 15. It says, the rod and reproof give wisdom, but a child left to himself bringeth his mother to shame. And this, this is the reason why the Most High is going to judge two thirds, man, because they, they have, you know, been walking around this, this world without proper guidance, man. And look how our people have gone, you know, look how far people have gone off the deep end walking without that guidance, man. All right. <laughs> hey, the men have become women. The women have become men. These children are little demons. All right. This is all because ultimately they didn't, they weren't given, you know, uh, they weren't given the wisdom and, and the Lord is not dealing with them because if he was dealing with them, he'd be jacking these people up. Like how we get jacked up, you know, in this faith. All right, the Lord is allowing them to continue in their wickedness because ultimately that 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 destruction, that judgment is going to come to them, you know, during the time of Jacob's trouble, all right? So he's allowing them, their wickedness to, to stack over and over and over again. So this is what makes them think that they have it. This is what makes them think, well, I've been doing this all my life. Like you have people, give you an example, you have people that uh, we try to tell them, you know, Stop eating pork. And you'll have dumbass niggas say, well, my grandma lived to be 90 years old. 
eating pork and she ain't never had, you know, she ain't never had no problem. But then they don't, they don't go into, you know, a, she might, you know, she had health issues throughout her life. So even though she lived to be 90 something years old, all right, she lived a miserable life, you know, hooked up on all different kind of pain medicines. All right. She might have had a, a a big toe or a foot amputated. All right. They lived in misery, but that's that because the most I allowed them to suffer, you know, because he didn't jack them up right whenever they went off, man, which is what gave them the thought to think that they were living a correct way of life, man. All right. This is Ezekiel, uh, it's like Ecclesiastes 8 and 11. It says, because sentence against the evil work is not executed speedily. Therefore, the heart of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil. Though a sinner do evil a hundred times and his ways be prolonged, yet surely I know it shall be well with them that fear Yahweh Shem Yahweh which fear before him. And it shall not be well with the wicked, neither shall he prolong his days, which are as a shadow, because he feareth not before Yahweh Shem Yahweh Right. So because sentence against the evil work is not executed speedily, all right, the people in their minds think that, that, that the Most High is with what you're doing. But you got to remember, the scriptures tell you that Yahweh Hashem Yahweh is long-suffering, man. So even though he's allowing he's allow you to continue with your wickedness, understand that that wickedness is piling up. And at some point, you're going to have to stand for everything you've done in this flesh, man. And these people, don't they don't truly realize that because they've been lied to, specifically these Christians. That, you know, the Most High is just going to accept everything you do. All you got to do is call the name of JC, which is a total lie, man. Because JC isn't a real God, man. He's a he's a, a, a idol, man. All right? So when the true God of the Bible, you know, uh, presents you before the judgment seat, then you're going to be looking stupid because you didn't take heed to the warnings that he was giving you, man. All right? Understand that the different plagues that you are being presented with in your life, these different things that you go through, those are, 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 are signs to show you, you know, but people can't see it that hey, you're you're not you're not living right, man. All right. But because Esau continuously encourages you to to to, to have a bad diet, man. All right, to to live a, a, a alternative lifestyle, to, to be black and proud. These different things are all the reason why our people are going to be destroyed because they trust in that, man. All right. They don't want to they don't want to get true you know, correction, which is comes from the how about Shem Yahushua until it's too late, which a lot of them is going to be too late, man. Okay. Because when they hear the true words of the Bible, which goes against the things that they've been taught here in America, uh, it grieves them, man. Okay. What's that in, in Amos? They hated him. They rebuke him at the gate. This is why they can't stand the prophets, man. Because when we tell them that, hey, you're living a, a, a life that's wrong, According to the Bible, they don't want to hear that because this this society, thanks to Esau and Edom, promotes what they're doing and they're rewarded for it. Wickedness is rewarded in this society, man. All right. But when it comes to to correction, according to the Bible, they don't want to hear that, man. Proverbs 15 and 5, it says a fool despise of his father's instruction, but he that regarded for proof is prudent. All right. They don't want to hear the instructions of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, which is why they're going to they're going to continuously you know, wax worse and worse because they hate hearing the truth. They hate hearing the words of the Heavenly Father and His Son because they truthfully, they hate Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah, man. But it says, he that regarded reproof is prudent, right? Because you, you know, are, are being corrected. You're going to use that correction to better yourself, man. And the, and the main way that you receive correction is by, you know, hearkening to the words of the Lord, man. All right, when, when, how about Shem Yahushua's words are being spoken? Uh, you take heed and apply it to you, man. Because, like I said, these people walk around this world living this wasteful ass life because they don't have purpose. They don't know their purpose here on this earth, man. All right? Which I actually found this, uh, well, I was sent this, this meme, but it's prevalent. All right, let me find it real quick. All right. This is from a quote from Victor Frankl. It says, when a man can't find a deep sense of meaning, he numbs himself with pleasure, which is ultimately dealing with, with, the, with the man. OK, because that man doesn't know his true purpose here. All right. This is why, you know, he engulfs himself with the with the ways of, of Babylon, man. All right. he, he always wants to be 
you know, in the party scene, okay? He wants to, you know, uh, uh, you know, spend his days, you know, following after his lust, which is, whether it be women or whatever it is that you that you uh, you run up after. All right, these these niggas become lazy. They don't want to do nothing. All these because you don't know, you don't know what uh, uh, what your purpose is, man. So let me tell you what your purpose is according to the scriptures. Okay, this is the book of Ecclesiastes twelve and thirteen. It says, "Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear the Most High and keep His commandments." For this is the whole duty of man. And when you when you learn your true purpose here on this earth, all right, this truth is supposed to change you to to be that 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 man or woman, okay, that the most high is gonna be pleased with. You understand that living the way here in the Babylon the Great, you're doing a, a huge disservice to Yahweh by Shemyal Shai because you're you're just pleasing him, man. All right, and we know what happens. When you when you uh, go against you know uh, Yahweh by Shemuel Shab and the Lord judges you, and and that judgment ultimately leads to death, okay, and that's something that if you truly cared about your life, you would take into consideration, man, all right, because the Most High has no use for an Israelite that's not serving him, man, all right. Real quick, this is Matthew five and thirteen. It says, "Ye are the salt of the earth, but if the salt has lost its savor." Wherewith shall it be salted? Right. Because we, you know, as us being Israelites, you know, Yasharal, the sons of the, uh, the sons of God, by the prince of the power, it says that hey, we give the earth flavor, man. All right. We're the ones who pretty much, you know, uh, set everything. We're like the, uh, what you call trendsetters for the earth, man. Whatever the Israelites are doing, all right, the other nations, they, they, they take part in. This is why Esau... Every time he wants to promote some some of his wicked agenda, what he puts an Israelite at the forefront, man. Okay, because we're the salt of the earth, man. It says, but if the salt have lost its savor, wherewith shall it be salted? And what and what is that salt that we have been given, man? This truth, man. The ways of Yahweh by Shem Shah. So if you if you're not serving the Lord, then you've lost your savor. Okay, it says, wherewith shall it be salted? It is henceforth good for nothing. But to be cast out, to be trodden under the foot of men, right? So if you're not serving the Most High and doing what you're created to do, all right, you lost your savor. And what good is is salt that's lost the savor, man? It, you gotta get rid of it, man. And which is why the Lord is gonna get rid of two thirds, man, because they refuse to do that to do what they're created to do, which is to serve the Lord and keep His commandments, man. It's like it to fear the Lord and keep His commandments, man. Okay, because like I said, the Lord is a power that des demands to be worshipped. All right. And when you serve the Lord and you keep his commandments, that's you worshiping the most high. All right. Because like I said, our people are in that dead state. All right. And in that dead state, they're not doing the main thing, which is serving the Lord. Because as I mentioned earlier, you can't serve the Lord from the grave. This is Psalm 6 and 5. For in death, there is no remembrance of thee in the grave who shall give thee thanks. Right. So our people are in a dead state. They're not remembering your Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah, man. They don't. They don't. They don't even care to know your Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah because, hey, they say that quote in the world: "Ignorance is bliss." Serving the Most High, it comes with consequences, and um, what's that word? Um, pretty much, hey, the Lord, he he has things that he wants you to do and he doesn't want you to do, and so our, our people that trust in Babylon that they that love this place. America gives you license to do everything you want. You know, to have that that saying, this is America, the, the land of the free. But the thing that you're the only thing that you're free, you know, here is you have you're you're free to sin, man. All right. There's not nothing about America lets Jake do anything for free but sin, man. Okay? So in doing so, you have no thought of your how about Shimel Shah, which is why the Lord said that puts you in the congregation of the dead. So it says for in death there is no remembrance of thee in the grave who shall give thee things. Right. And you can't worship Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah for in the grave, which is why he's going to get rid of you. Because literally you're just, you know, useless eaters here. Just like the elites, you know, classify you as. Because here it is, you, you're you're living a life here on earth, but you're not truly living. Because you don't have a word, man. Okay. Ultimately, because you are following after the ways of Esau Edom. And you, and you refuse to let that way go, man. This is Jude 1 and 11. It says, Woe unto them, for they have gone in the way of Cain and ran greedily after the heir of Balaam for reward and perished in the gainsaying of Kor. Right. 
because you you followed the way of Cain, which you know Cain was the first murderer, all right, the first liar, which the descendants of Cain is who? <laughs> Esau, Edom, whose descendants are here today is the so-called white man. So you went the way of the wicked, man, okay, because Cain... Uh, he was he was the the progenitor of the line of the wicked man, all right. So you people have taken on the ways of wickedness, and it says and have read and ran greedily after the era of Balaam for war, right? You people are serving these idols, man, all right. Which these idols ultimately go into the the the, uh, the worship of Satan, all right. That's who Esau worshiped, is Satan, man. Okay, it says and perish in the game, saying in the court, right? So and hey, you're you're going to be destroyed. All right, because you want to walk in the ways that are not of your how about Shem Yahshua. You want to continue to stay in the congregation of the wicked. The Most High is going to put you to death whenever the, the congregation of the wicked is destroyed, man. Okay? Because here it is. The Lord is giving you a chance to repent. And our people, they, they, they continue to, to, to pretty much disregard that, you know, that lifeboat, man. All right? This is 2nd Ezra 9 and 9. It says, Then shall they be in pitiful case which now have abused my ways, and they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torments. All right? You're going to be in a pitiful case once the Lord begins to truly break down this place, and you're feeling it. See, right now, in the midst of everything that's going on worldwide, see, America hasn't really felt the, the true ramifications of the actions of Esau, you know, what he's doing, okay? You know, we're, we're experiencing, you know, a, a hyperinflation but things haven't really got that bad yet, man. All right. Gas is still somewhat affordable. These, these food prices, you know, are still, you know, affordable to, to some. All right. But wait till things really crack up here, man. All right. We'll crank up here and you start to see, you know, sh shit get bad out here. But understand the difference between, you know, the, the elect and the rest of Israel, that the most High is going to take care of the elect because the elect took heed to the warnings of the Lord, man. All right, but you, you, you two thirds, man, you niggas, you're gonna be in a, a pitiful case because while the, while the, the doors of mercy were open, you, you choose, you chose not to repent, man. All right, it says, for such as in their lives have received benefits and have not known me, and they that have loathed my law, while they had yet liberty, and when as yet place of repentance was open unto them, understood not, but despised it. The same must know it after death by pain, which is why the Most High is going to jack you niggas up, man. All right? Because, hey, you are enjoying the benefits of being a wicked nigga. All right? Esau will bless you. <sighs> He'll bless you with record contracts, with, with acting gigs, with, with a job in the, in, the, in the league of whatever sport, okay? Or even, you know, these good paying jobs, all right? Well, hey, you you get you get blessed here in, in in America, Babylon the Great for being wicked. So our people will look at it. Well, why would I? Why would I turn my life, you know, over to the Most High, and, and you know, renounce these different these different ways of living when I'm getting I'm getting blessed here, man. Which is why the Lord told us to to love not our lives unto death, man, because this 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 way of living is not true life, man. All right, but because you Jakes can't see that, this is why the, a lot of you gonna have to. Learn it the hard way. It says you're going to know it by death after pain. It's like you're going to know it after death by pain. You're going to die a horrific death because of your pure ignorance. All right. Because ignorance is a choice, man. You people are willfully ignorant. All right. So because of that, all right, you're going to learn the hard way of why the most high is to be feared. All right. Why you should want to be on the good side of the Lord, man. Okay. I'm going to end with this. Zechariah 13 and 8. It says, but it shall come to pass that in all the land say of the Lord, two parts therein shall be cut off and die. And the two parts goes into the Israelites, man. 66.6% .6 of the so-called Negro, Latino, or Native American men, women, and children will be killed here in America. And to break it down, you know, even more, okay, it says only one out of every three Negro, Latino, or Native American Indians will be saved, Okay. One out of every three other tribes, <clears throat> that's a small number. That's why it's read it one more time. And it shall come to pass that in all the land, say of the Lord, two parts therein shall be cut off and die. But the third shall be left therein. Right, the, the elect, the one third, the 144,000 prophets 
and the innumerable multitude of men, women, and children that believe are going to be saved, but millions upon millions of Israelites are going to die here in, in, during the time of Jacob's trouble, man. And I will bring the third part through the fire and will refine them as silver is refined and will try them as gold is tried. They shall call on my name and I will hear them. I will say, it is my people and they shall say, the Lord is my power, right? Because the elect is truly seeking Yahweh by Shem Yahushai in sincerity and truth because Lord willing, each and every one of us that are laboring in his word, okay, we are being put through the fire continuously, man. This is why the scriptures tell you, you know, uh, 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 Saki, I got, I don't want to misquote it. Let me, let me get that real quick. Pretty much, you know, roughly paraphrasing, I can't remember how it's quoted, but, uh, you know, be not astonished by the, by the fiery trials or something along them lines, you know, because that fire, us going through that fire is necessary when it comes to serving the Lord because the Lord is purging us of all the different wickedness that we have in our spirits, man, okay? So that's, he says he's going to refine us or refine them as silver is refined and will try them as gold is tried, all right? And so, Lord willing, we'll be able to elect. All right, we're having all those impurities, you know, purged out of us, man. And it says, they shall call on my name, all right? So, we're going to have the correct name, which the correct names are Yahweh and Yahweh Shah, man. Yahweh being the name of the Heavenly Father, all right? Yahweh, which means he exists or he is. And the son's name is Yahweh Shai, who is the son whose name in the Hebrew is Yahweh Shai. All right, he is the deliverer, or he delivers, man. Okay, those are the, are the correct names that we're supposed to be calling upon in, the, in these in these times that we're in, man. It says, and I will hear them, because the, the scriptures tell you the prayer of the needy are right, reaching up until until the ears of the Lord, man. All right, the angels of the Lord carry forth the prayers unto the Lord, man. Okay, it says, and I will say, it is my people. And they shall say, the Lord is my power because the Lord, he's, he wants us to seek, you know, to seek him, man. And all those Israelites that refuse to, the Lord will put to death as it tells you in, in Second Chronicles, man. All right. Matter of fact, I'll end with that. You know, you know, Lord willing, this was edifying, man. Second Chronicles 15 and 13, it says that whosoever would not seek the the Lord, Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh, power of Israel, should be put to death, whether small or great, whether man or woman. Right. So if you're an Israelite man, woman, or child, and you're not seeking to serve Yahweh by Shem Yahweh, you're going to be put to death. And it's going to be a horrific death, man. All right. So this is why I said, man, two thirds, they have that wickedness, you know, seared in them with that hot iron. All right. They're stuck in their ways, which is why the only way that the Most High can fix them. It's to destroy them on this side and have them being born again through the elect, man. So for all of us that, you know, have this word that, that call upon the names of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, okay, we got to continue to call upon those names and stay diligent, stay in the fear of the Lord and have faith the Lord is going to be there for us to deliver us in, in, in these turbulent times, man. So with that, I pray this lesson was edifying. I want to say, call Halam like Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah Bashem Double honors to my apostles and the elders of Great Millstone and peace to the elect. Shalom.